Alright guys, so this right here is the old Speedo, and more importantly, this bracket is what, meh, this bracket is what keeps it in place. So what I've done is I took this bracket, cut like these pieces off, here, off of here, and made myself some nice brackets for uh, the new Speedo. And things look pretty freaking awesome. Now I just gotta wire it up, and the front end should be pretty good to go. Um, still need to get some fluid into these guys and bleed them. Uh, but for the most part, I think we're uh, pretty good. I gotta give it a little test in the sun. I was testing it inside and it looked uh, pretty decent. Uh, so I just gotta test it outside to see uh, how that looks in the light. But I'm not too worried. It was pretty bright, um, pretty visible. Okay. Alright guys, so uh, I just brought the battery and just wired in the ground just to see uh, how this thing works in the daylight and uh, here we go. Not too bad, it's quite visible even in like direct sunlight like this. I don't seem to be getting any glare. Um, pretty good, I like it. And when everything else turns on. Yeah, it's nice. Alright guys, so I'm gonna try to uh, fill this front brake with uh, fluid. And then we're going to bleed it through the little nozzle down here. And the equivalent one on the other side. So after about an hour of fiddling with the brake lines and refilling this thing and emptying it and refilling it again, finally I have uh, a good brake feel and an actual brake. The clutch is still empty. As you can see, it's just, it just does nothing. And uh, in terms of showing you that this actually stops, let's do this. So, front brakes work. Uh, next, we'll probably be figuring out this guy and deciding what to do with that. Uh, we'll have to fill this up and bleed it as well. This one's gonna be a bit more of a tricky bit, mainly because the bleeding nozzle, I believe, is this thing right here. Um, but we'll see, I have the uh, bleeding kit, so shouldn't be too hard and this one I think is simpler because it's a single system unlike the front where we have two sides um, and yeah my awesome little brackets are probably gonna shave a little bit more off of them and uh, 
I end up painting them just to match the black here. I ended up scratching this guy. Uh, I'll see once I have things wired whether or not this angle is right or I need to like lift it up a little bit. I might need to bend this bracket. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this episode. Um, not a lot of progress done today, mainly because it took so long with the brakes. Uh, apparently if you flush the entire system, it takes a while to get all the air out of there and refill it with fuel. Or maybe I was just doing wrong. Um, either way, uh, make sure to subscribe, click the little bell for notifications when new videos become available. Make sure to check me out on uh, Instagram at BalconMoto2018 and check out BalconMoto.com uh, uh, where you can see articles that I post accompanying each of these videos. So thanks for watching. See you next time.